What does ovulation mean? Ovulation occurs when an egg moves from the ovaries into the fallopian tubes and is ready for fertilization. It occurs midway in a woman's menstrual cycle. But the timing varies for each woman. Menstrual cycle, at 20 weeks old, a female fetus has 2 million immature eggs called oocytes inside her ovaries. But she loses 75% of these eggs by the time she is born. According to the Center for Menstrual Disorders and Reproductive Choice, this leaves most females with half million immature eggs. The eggs are fully matured by the time the female enters puberty, when an egg moves into the fallopian tubes. A sperm cell can fertilize the egg, which could then move into the uterus, or womb, and develop into a fetus. During ovulation, the walls of the uterus also thicken to prepare for a fertilized egg, but if the egg is not fertilized, the uterus sheds that lining causing the monthly bleeding of a menstrual period. Having a period does not always equal ovulation, though, the most misunderstood thing about ovulation is the idea that if you are menstruating, it means that you are ovulating, and that is indeed not the case at all, said Dr. Mary Jane Minken, a clinical professor of obstetrics gynecology and reproductive sciences at the Yale School of Medicine, many women have an ovulatory cycle, the build-up of the lining of the uterus, because they are making estrogen. But when it gets to a certain height, the lining just sloughs off, and a woman can bleed quite heavily, said Minken. When a woman ovulates she makes the hormone progesterone which results in a more controlled bleed. When a woman is getting a period, but not getting pregnant, it may be because she is not ovulating. An ovulation predictor kit can be helpful to see if a woman is indeed ovulating, and if it shows that ovulation isn't occurring, it's a great time to check in with your gynecologist. Because getting women to ovulate is often quite straightforward, said Minken. Ovulation problems. There are many reasons why a woman may have ovulation problems. Some women, for example, have blocked fallopian tubes due to pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, or surgery for an ectopic pregnancy, according to U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, thyroid problems and other conditions can make the ovaries less likely to produce an egg. Problems with ovulation are just one possible cause for infertility. About 12% of women, more than 6.1 million, in the United States between ages 15 to 44 have difficulty getting pregnant or staying pregnant. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, physical problems with the uterus and uterine fibroids can be some other causes for infertility.